Hello everyone and welcome back to your own channel Technical Sahil. In today's video, we are going to see that how we can copy a file or files from our local PC to the remote server or to the vice versa with the help of SCP command. For this, we first need to log into our server. I am using the putty SSH client because I also need the work of command prompt in the same video, in the same step. So I will use for remote server login, I will use putty. And for file transfer, I will use CMD. Username is root. And that's the password. If I show you my present working directory to you, it's root. And if I show you the list of files, it's uh, not this uh, file.zip file, which we will copy through the SCP. You can see it's not there. Now we need to open our command prompt. And here we need to type SCP. Now the path of our uh, desktop. And this file name. Now that's the local path. Now we need to define the remote path, remote server path. For this, we first need to SSH via command line. And now here we need to define the path, which is inside root. And we can also be more specific by providing the file name. And press enter. Now we need to provide the root password. Now you can see it's uh, copied. Now if we check again, you can see it's uh, file.zip. So this way we can copy a file from our local PC to the remote server. Now let's see how we can get a file from our remote server to the local PC. Uh, let me and uh, resize it a bit. Now let's create a file here first. Uh, I'm just creating a text file. File.txt. Now if we again check the file.txt is there. Now again we need to open our command prompt and we need to type SCP. This time it's a remote server first because we need to get, we need to fetch the file from that server. So root at the rate uh, this IP, server IP, directory, Now here we need to define the local directory, which is C users, my username, now if we press enter, we need to provide the password again. Now you can see a file has been there, file.txt if we open. So this is the way we can do uh, both from local PC to the remote server file transfer and from the remote server to our local PC. So through this SCP command without using any filezilla or any other tool. So that's all for this video and thank you so much for watching it till the end. 